Hello and welcome to Camelot, your daily 10 o'clock art dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum's collection. I'm Zori and I'm a docent at CAM. For today's discussion, I have chosen a piece of, from our African gallery. It is a head crest. Some call it a headdress or even a mask. This head crest is known as a Chivara headdress. It is made out of wood by the Bamana people, who are the largest ethnic group within Mali. They are mostly farmers and inhibit Western and Central Mali. Mali itself is a landlocked country in the northwest part of Africa. You might wonder what this piece represents and what kind of a function it has. The Bamana tell the story of how a mystical being named Chivara, a cultural hero, being half man and half antelope, introduced to humans the way of farming and the understanding of earth, animals and plants. Under its guidance, humans learned to cultivate the land and became able farmers. This kind of a head crest is carved to honor the original mystical being. Although Chivara headdresses are described to represent antelopes, they also incorporate features of other animals, such as the artworks or anteaters. Our Chivara is carrying a fawn on its back, and this immediately tells us that this is a female Chivara. Here, both figures have faces with human-like features, but generally the horn and long arch neck represent the antelope, reminding us of grace and strength. The long horns also represent the tall growth of millet, hope for a good harvest. The low slung body with short legs is inspired by the artwork or anteater, who are skilled diggers, a skill a good farmer needs to know. The body also represents earth, soil. The Chivara sculpture rises from a pierced rectangular platform. This is done so that it can be attached to the, a cap during the dance ceremony. The Chivaras are created in pairs, a male and a female, an indication of the importance of both. Right now, at Cal, we only have a female head crest. The fawn has been interpreted as an embodiment of humanity. These headdresses are worn during planting and harvesting seasons. Two male dancers, one dancing the male and the other the female, attach to this Chihuahua headdresses on a basketry skull cap in order to wear these on their heads. These are tied under their chin. Their faces are covered with raffia or a semi-transparent cloth so that all the attention is given to the Chivara. The dancer's body is also often covered with raffia. This masked members of the community start dancing at the fields and gradually enter the village square. They paw the earth like the mystic Chivara when it taught mankind how to plant seeds. The dancers bend forward with sticks in their hands to represent the front legs of the antelope. In addition, the movements of the dancers mimic those of the antelopes. It requires some mastery, bending your head and moving it sideways while having a head crest on. Representing female and male is a statement of the complementary nature of life. The dance shows a fruitful union of male and female. The male also represents the powerful sun and the female represents the gentle, nurturing earth. The dry fiber costume worn by the dancers sway and bounce, reminding us of the sound made by the rain. The dance embraces all the elemental forces such as sun, earth and water. The men of the village join this dance movements while the women sing songs celebrating the rewards of hard work. The Chihuahua has also been adopted as a national symbol of Mali's cultural identity. For example, it is the logo of Mali's official airline. Now, a question to you. If you were asked, how do you appreciate and relate to the soil, what would your answer be? You can respond in a few words, a few sentences, or even write a poem. Looking forward to your thoughts. Hope you will continue watching our Cam Look presentation every weekday at 10 a.m. Thank you.